Hello everyone, King's Conquest here, and today I'm here with Harley. Oh, the trial started. All right, let's go. So this is Harley's first time playing, so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be fun seeing how he reacts to this. Disclaimer in advance: I, I have played quite a bit, and before we fully start, I will give a full warning about um, flashing lights, photosensitivity. You know, bright lights of any kind. So you know, if you if you have ep epilepsy or there's a worry about it, you know, just uh, do be safe. I do not want to get sued, and I will not be liable for the flashing lights. There's gore and stuff too. There is gore, and there is a bit of nudity. I mean, that should be a given, but I mean, you know, fair warning. Game. Yeah, but you know, fair warning. Whenever there might be a nud a nudity. Thing I may or may not have. Oh, no. We'll see what happens. Only we can tell you what is true. There is right. a snitch inside the prison preparing to okay. testify against our truth. Kill the snitch. Then we will let you out. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Oh, here comes the fun times. Ready for the uh, flash meal I was talking about? Oh, boy. It's that guy. Oh, goody, I'm on drugs. Don't you drunk, skits? My Pinor! Oh. That man has no nipples. Nice. Oh, he sucked himself. Look away! He's fluttering himself. Uh. Alright! Well, that's fairly droopy. Yeah. And really loud. Well done. Oh, uh, you're. You, yeah, I would say turn, take your time to turn this down. Uh, six, I, I turned my down quite a lot. Uh, okay. So as we go, like... I will be explaining a lot of stuff, both for Harley and for those watching, because, you know, who doesn't love an explanation if you've never seen it? Right. You're in a box. Yep. Alright, load of thing. So this is a, is a syringe, and in case you go down, I can revive you with it. Phantasmalastic. Right, I will say, mm. do be careful, because there are enemies hiding in certain areas. Like that dude, he's just chilling right there. Like a sicko. And I think I heard the sound of one of the elevators opening, so do be careful about that. So, I will say, there is a quite a different... Uh, quite a few different enemies and things to worry about. Uh, one of the big things for it is if you see a red light above a door, that probably means that door is trapped, and that so you can disarm the trap if you go through it slowly, or if you go on the other side, grab the thing and then um, take the battery out of it. Mm. But, uh, I got a brick? Yeah, so the brick, you can throw at people or throw at areas to distract them. Usually I throw them at people because it stuns them and gets them off them. So here's our first real threat. This dude, if you wake him up, he will scream. Which, you know, will may or may not alert other people. But so we'll just leave him alone and wander on past him. Because if he screams, he will wake up others. Alright. And alley -oop. I'll send you over. There's a door to the right you should be able to open. I can't get in. Thank you. You're so kind. Triggered the mine on accident, but it's fine. Oh, uh, so that man is almost the Skinner man. 
And because I almost have no sanity, he is going to haunt my dreams. Hey, quick moving. You want this? Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to save that in case there's a, in, in case I lose my sanity fully. We got fucking oh, out of sanity as well? I don't know. Did you see the Skinner man just run across the floor? If so, no, then yes. Oh. My screen went kind of funny. Alright. Now, we must be careful because more people are out and about and they are crazy. So, Ooh, my brick. Thank you. My vision's kind of wonky because of the fucking thing because I'm getting gassed. But every once in a while, you know, if my sanity gets too low, the Skinner Man will come for me. So that is going to be horrifying. Good enough. Oh, another antidote it. right there. I told him everything I know. Okay. Uh -oh. So we got to kill this dude. I'm, I'm, my head's all messed. Let's go. Oh. Alright, the oh. power's going to go off. We gotta go into the basement and turn the power on. There's medicine right there if you need it. I don't know. For some reason, it won't show me my health. Oh, do you not have it turned on for that? Uh, uh, health display, don't auto hide. Just show it to me, damn it. Yeah, I turned them on on permanent. Mm. So something to worry about is there is certain people where they will just hide in stuff. So if you wait long enough, you'll see them open the thing. There's some batteries over here. I'm gonna wait for them. Oh, it's gonna happen. Hey, what's up for that dude? You might slap your shit. Hmm? In the case you get a lockpick. Stop that. You leave him alone. Gang up on guy! Hit him again. Yeah, they're already running away. So they're gonna go run and hide in another locker down there. She you know, we'll have to keep in mind that they hide they hid in the locker. But uh what is for the lockpicks? Is this Prince? No. Because you, you've done the lock picks for uh, Bioshock, right? Hmm. So pretty much aim for green, don't hit the red. And then we can go under. Because that will stay up there for a little bit of time. And we'll drop my green. Now, so we are looking for generators. Looks like the first um, gas. Gasoline. Is yeah. So how the generators work is there is two switches on both sides. Activating uh, both of them allows you to charge it and then you gotta pour gas in it. Oh hey, there, look, I was about to just talk about those mimics. Don't! Don't spare! Really messed up version of me? So you can tell they're mimics by the fact that their name will be really wonky. But, when it comes down to it, is that guy that came out, that is called the Pusher. What he does is that when he gets too close to you, is he will force you to have a uh, psychosis attack. Oh! oh. So he can't see in the dark, so you could slip past him. I'm gonna disarm this before you walk into it. Mm. Jesus, take oh. me! Oh, shit! 
I noticed. What am I doing with this gasoline? So, it was, we got to port in the generator, and then we got to power up, and then turn the fuses on for the generator. So Where is the generator? Is this the generator? Yeah, it should be right in front. Medicine, if you hit again, okay, and then, so for these ones, it gives you four charges. One of these switches will randomly turn stuff off and on. So you want to find out which one of these, and then just turn both sides fully on green. I don't even know where you're at. I'm at the generator. Okay, what am I doing with it? So this side's left to be tinkered with. So there's one switch that starts green. You want to get all those switches to green. Okay, sometimes it takes uh, a few tries, but I believe in you. Oh. And I'm magic. Where? Oh, I'm blind. So this is the last step of it, and it's honestly a little hard. Is you have to crank it, and if you get green three times, it'll full charge it automatically. But if you mess up, it'll take some charge away, or it'll take longer if you hit yellow. The only issue is it lights up the entire area around us and draws the cops' attention. I have a shot of adrenaline. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna take my brick. I have a yeah. bottle. I'm gonna let it shine. I found the second gas. So there is times where there'll be posters on the wall, and if you find them, they'll glow a little bit. But it's just it's just like bonus stuff, basically. There's a dog in here. Okay. There's another antidote. I'm going to use that so I can kill myself. Oh, someone's coming. That's a gas. that while crouched you make less noise. Okay! You caught me! These dogs always there? Yeah, they're 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 always here. They're, they're meant to freak you out. Yeah, there's a lot of that.
expressly for the purpose of getting you jumpy. You know, you could, I, you could tell I'm like slightly used to this. I'm like, all right, no, whatever. Dude's gonna, dude's gonna move. I'm like, but I'm still kind of tense. Okay. I will leave one side of this to be tinkered for you. I will do the other. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to find the gas canister. So I will be right back. There's lots of gas canisters, you'll have to be more specific. Specifically the gas canister, we need to turn that on. the screamer so he's gonna run away and he's gonna go run somewhere else when the electric dude's gonna run in here Setting off the screamer, because if the screamer screams next to me, I will take quite a beating. No, I, I need that door open. There is no other way over there. Thank you. Okay, you can lock it behind me, though, if you would like. I'm gonna go run this to the thing. I got a brick. Okay. As long as he stays over there, we'll be fine. you're going to turn our brains into scrap. Now we're going to turn the What door? The one we came this one? to. Yep, the one that we need to lift. If we had another person, it would make it a lot easier because then we'd have them open the door and just have a slide through. Mm. Okay. I can't slide. Watch out. Yeah, when you when we get you a little bit higher, it'll be good. Okay. So if I remember correctly, don't go near that locker. Cause I'm pretty sure they're still hiding in there. Yep. See. If you walk near it, it'll like kind of be like, Ooh, and that lets you know they're still in there. Right. I'm sorry, good sir. You have to die. So you can sprint while pushing this dude. It just makes a lot more noise. Now oh, the gross part of this. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna need what's in your guts. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Some squishy, squishy noises. And I. Wrong symbol equals trap. Yep. as fast as I can. It does go back. 
That's a fella. I'll get all of your horse. Because now he can't come through that little area and grab me. I hope. If I'm wrong, he will definitely turn my brain into mash. But, so there is a TV in front of each of the doors. And each of those doors will tell us what key we need. Oh, I'm fucked. It, it takes a bit, so I'll just run around. That's alright. As long as you survive, I can do this through this. I believe I have escaped. Nice. For now. Okay, so for the landlines, just so you know, is you can slowly walk by them. It was over here, I think. Oh God. Shadows, maybe. Please, please leave. Where's he going? Get close. Be careful. So he's heading back towards the door where I need to go. We just need to match the corresponding corpse with the corresponding um, tag. <gasps> of course, choosing the wrong one means you will get electrocuted. So a little heads up about that one. There's a lot of holes in these mannequins, but not think I'm not don't think I'm too too happy about seeing those. Oh, I'm getting fucked up. Oh! Open up, claw me! I got you. Okay, first one's crown. We're here to keep you safe until you've absorbed enough to. Oh, you have you have it. Okay, cool. Ow. Yeah, a lot of times you will take quite a beating. As long as they don't start executing you, you'll be fine. Okay. Oh god. So he can't come in through there, because he's too big. I hope. If he moves through Hold on. I'm gonna scream. Okay, yeah, we're good. Well, last time I was in here, there was a gas motherfucker. This door opens. You know, but our objective is slowly moving away and we gotta to get to that door. You bastard. I wanna pull his attention and go open that door. What door? The door that he goes to. It's right on the track. Are you. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, scum. Nope, don't touch. Keep away. Key. Okay. I'm luring him away. Oh, my, my doppelganger is coming to fight me. Yes. Your doppelganger was coming to fight me. So I gotta push this body, this fucker, to that door, right? Yes. And when you push him to that door, 
is there's only another one right behind it where we have to continue forward. Oh, goody, I found where the secret room is with both the buttons. That'll give us some extra goodies for this. So we potentially, hopefully, don't fucking die. Pushed the fucker and he clicked into place. Okay, cool. And there's a fucker yelling at me now. He's nearby. And he's not very happy. I would imagine not. You're taking their sweet sweet prison booty. I'm kind of just hiding under a desk right now. That's fair. So, we need the club key. If you get the chance to look at that screen, we'll know what that last one is. Ooh, key I. Key I? That's what it says. Oh. oh, I think I was seen. Yep. All right. Oh, hello. Howdy. Run, motherfucker. All uh, right, yeah, the eye. <laughs> So I stumbled outside that door. So if that door breaks open, you need to run. Mm. Kind of like that. Give bottle. I think he's fucking off. And we broke it open. Fun where that body with the eye is. Mm. Okay, so there's a gas man. Oh, there's a fake you. <laughs> uh, I hit fake you with a bottle. Well, it's not very nice. Well, he's coming. He was coming to stab me in my defense, Your Honor. So I broke a bottle over his eyes and blinded him. Now held up in court, right? Probably not. Yeah. No, the worst thing is I think I know where one of the body is, but I I have to break something to get in there. I think. <clears throat> What the fuck is that? Rig recharger. I don't have a rig. Oh, yeah, so that's how I was saying earlier how you have the um, multiple things that could that would allow you to um, French fight back and survive. Question. I'm listening. Where do I find corpses? Specifically, the corpses I need to be looking for. Um. So they'll be shirtless. Mm -hmm. And they'll have a logo on their chest. Which isn't too descriptive, but. No. It's the best I think I'm have. on the other side of the door that we need to open. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be. Does not 
help because it does not mark where the bodies are. It just becomes a, hey, go look find. Good luck. And I will say, each match can take a long time. Mm. At least 30 minutes or so for each one. Well, I don't know how much of this fucking mind-numbing paranoia I can do all at once. Oh yeah, no, we're not we're not gonna do like all of them at once just because that that wouldn't be fair. I know that you get anxious, so that wouldn't be too fair to you. What was that? And um, my brain just is not up for that tonight. That's fair. Very nice, Chris. Yep. Well, this is the heart, motherfucker. Healthy respect for authority is key to productive healing. Oh, I somehow made my way back to the very start. You did? Yeah. I... So it was not a question. It was confirmation. We opened the first one, so it should, in theory, be beyond the first game. Well, that doesn't mean a damn thing. A mysterious body over here. Hopefully, it's the one we need. Because if it's not. There's a man outside that window. Yeah, they're watching us. Okay, so I found the fire body. Not the one we need. I'm kind of upset. Because I do not know where this body is supposed to be. As far as I'm aware, they should spawn in correlation to the door that they're near. Unless they're outside. Oh, hey, what the fuck? You okay? What happened? I bashed my way into a room and... Oh, you got spiked in the chest? No, there was a motherfucker under the... thing. Oh. Under the disc. Yeah, no, that happens. <laughs> it was not altogether pleasant. That's a butterfly. Oh, I found the spade. This motherfucker's asshole is glowing. Oh, there's people in the ceiling. Yeah. What's going on out there? Uh, so I ran away from the gas guy. I'm waiting for him to leave, because if he leaves, I can go check the second body that's outside. Uh... Did he hear that and take off? He went back into the, uh, elevator. Wall. You know, this is not DPD. I did not intend to spend the whole time crouch walking. Okay, well, I found the eye. What the fuck is it? Oh, I got a lockpick. What, what is oh god? I hear a voice. You bitch. I hear many. That's your point. I love this my my initial panic of get it and just run. Oh, oh, oh. Fine. 
Sign me up for it. I am the motherfucking neighborhood watch. Okay, so while I have both keys. Great success. Yes. Uh, only only problem is I don't know where I am. And I am a little bit lost. Big fuckers coming right for you. I think I can't see through the glass. Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's I'm walking around this room. I found fake you. Well, that's a damn shame, isn't it? It is. Please leave, big man. I don't care if you're ready. I don't want to be here. So I have both keys. You need both keys. The key for the second door and the key for the third one. Uh, he's coming for you. You made him angry. Well, it's because getting closer to the end. I need to be careful. And if they run at me, I need to run away. Was that you, the motherfucker, that just ran through the room? No, I'm not the end. I just opened the third door. It is important to note for this last part, as we will be electrocuting the fucker, they will run into the room. When they run into the room, uh, they will be trying to stab us. What are you talking about? I am talking about this man right here. Oh! God. Bitch! Yaga! You. Your boy's They're going for it! They're lying to you! They're so beautiful! Sons of bitches! I'm going for my stamina to reach in as I push him. Oh, please. I don't want to hear it, man. Everyone's in some kind of crowd. You're not really going to do this. You're not going to do this. Okay. We're over here! So if you can make your way to me... I will show you the goodies room. Stamina. 
Right on the fleet. We'll get back to the, the entrance area. Oh, I got fucked up. That's right. My rig's ready. All right. All right. And... Oh, no. No, it's not. Oh, I thought it was. I'm out of stamina. I'm fucked. I'm fucked up. Remember that door we opened earlier? We're gonna have to go through there. No. Okay. Now this is the crucial part of this. Is we're gonna have to get to that end. And they're gonna be angry. What end? Oh god. I hear him. Button push! What are you talking about? I get the tube. Get the robot. Oh, we oh, the hey, tube. there we go. Look at that, Harley. You survived your first mission. Oh god, I hated every second of it. Oh, yeah. look at that. You got a B plus, buddy. You did pretty good. I, I got an A minus. What are you talking about? Oh no, I got a B plus. You, you got, got an A plus. A minus. We got A minus total. I can't read. It's okay. It took us 39 minutes to complete that. God damn it. Yeah, no, so you it's almost it. midnight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't kidding where it takes like 30 minutes or more for each one. Oh, God. Yeah, and also, this shows you just uh, what all it takes to <clears throat> get good grades for this. What level did you get to, my friend? What are you talking about? Your character level. What level are you? Two. Oh, goody. You should have the ability to spend some points then. Alright. Whenever you wake up from your screen, go ahead and take a look at, um, uh, the exits. And then, uh, we'll help you get some setup. So that way for your next one, you can do better. I love you. Mm. So, no. <laughs> Thoughts and feelings on that first one for you, Harley. How was it? This feels like a daytime kind of game. I mean, you're not wrong. No, definitely, <sighs> definitely probably could have gone better. Could have gone worse. But, you know, you didn't die. You didn't go on the ground. <clears throat> and you only got hit, like, what, a couple times? <sighs> Apparently, I took damage seven times. Damn. Tomorrow's wars will be endless and quiet, and we will win them. I think I got hit like once or like twice. You. Okay. So after I prefer to shoot people. That's right. Hey! No, that's not you, that's someone else. Okay, so since you're level two, you should be able to talk to this lady right here. And if you talk to her, you should be able to buy some. Perks. No, I, I have to be level three for that. Level three for oh, okay. As soon as I thought it was level two. Yeah. So then, that being the case, this guy over here, because you see his icon. This is the guy you go to to buy the rigs. <sighs> Didn't think I'd see you in one piece again. Huh? Hope that does the trick. Yeah. So you know. So you have your stuns, um, yeah, what are because you have your stun, and you, know, you can expand the radius, make it so it destroys traps, recharges teammates and whatnot. You got your blinding smoke mine, that, oh, uh, I haven't looked at all the other ones, I figured I'd just, I'd fully upgrade one and go from there. I don't know the healing one, if you fully upgrade it, uh, clears your... It fixes your health and your psychosis level. And then the yeah. x-ray one just shows you where yeah. items and other stuff is at. And enemies. Yep. Who is... Who is this? That is... Group invitation. So, that's the other part about it. Is this game is entirely online for the most part. So other people can invite you to join their game to, um, uh, 
you know, like play the matches with them and go forward with that or they quickly arm wrestle me. So for this one you wanna click on the white tip. I remember. Yep. Damn. With that done, thank you everyone who turned to watch. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part was. Maybe what you think we should do for next time. Different stuff we should try. And then we will see you later. Goodbye. Bye.